Near the turn of the 19th century, the great age of science was coming out with new discoveries and inventions at an ever-increasing rate. In the 1870s, William Crookes developed the cathode ray tube. It was a beam of electrons flowing through an empty glass tube that gave off a soft glow. At the time, it was a fairly useless device, maybe to be used as a decoration or a nightlight. But different minerals in the tube could cause it to glow different colors, so it soon became the tube in every single television. That's why an old expression used to be on the tube to describe someone who is watching TV, just as we say on the computer to describe someone who is using a computer. In 1964, flat screen TVs were invented, soon replacing all tube TVs. But that's where we got the word, you, too. For many years after their invention, scientists didn't exactly know what cathode ray tubes were. They didn't even know what electrons were. After a bit of research, they discovered that some negatively charged particles were the cause of the glow. But they also discovered something else. Some kind of invisible, high-energy ray was coming from the tube, but they had no idea what it was. In 1895, Wilhelm Röntgen called them X-rays to signify their unknown quality. Röntgen performed many experiments with X-rays and discovered that they could make some types of rocks glow brightly. Röntgen built a device to produce X-rays in large quantity and concentrate them into a single point. He found that these X-rays were going straight through the wall in his lab and causing things to glow brightly on the other side. Röntgen was amazed to find that these X-rays could go through almost anything, but he was still curious. He wondered, what would happen if he put his hand into the high-intensity beam of X-rays that he had created? He decided not to use his own hand for the experiment since he didn't know if X-rays were dangerous or not. It made sense for him to experiment on someone else first, maybe someone he didn't like or someone he didn't care about, like his boss or maybe his mother-in-law. Instead, Ralchin used the next nearest available person that must have been completely unimportant to him. His wife! That's right. Ronchen used his wife to experiment on using ultra-high-frequency electromagnetic radiation, even though he had no idea what it would do to her. He even took an x-ray photo of her hand, and this was the very first human body x-ray photo ever taken. You can even see her wedding ring in the photo. Fortunately, Ronchen's wife was unharmed during the experiment, and x-rays are now a valuable part of medical practice. It's amazing how something as useless as the cathode ray tube could lead to so many important discoveries and inventions like TV and x-rays. What are some things you think are worthless today but may have valuable applications in the future? What would you name x-rays if you had discovered them in 1895? Think about it.